Hey, hey Peyton. So uh, it looks like you, you're really putting an emphasis on expanding the range. Is is that something that you're you're working on? Uh, definitely. I mean, just shooting off the the pick and roll, yeah. shooting off a different variety of ways. So uh, you know, just that and that. And then, um, you know, I think as the game's going, just getting into the paint more. Now uh, it's the first game, so our wind was not the same and stuff like that. So um, there's always stuff to improve on, though. Okay, that was the only Zoom hand we have up right now. Okay, Taylor Snow's put his hand up. Sherrod in person. Okay, we're going to do Taylor first quickly, Twister, and then we'll uh, do uh, Sherrod. Hey, Peyton, um, what do you think about uh, Yam's energy? And it seemed like he kind of helped spark that turnaround a little bit in the first quarter after you guys went down. Yeah, I know. He turned it around for us, his energy. Hit some tough shots, but also his defense, uh, getting hands on balls. You know, uh, we started off the game down 10 0, so he came in and brought that energy, uh, the activeness, being active, and it just kind of uh, carried over for all of us. Sherrod okay. in person. I wanted to ask you about just Yam, but specifically what it's like being new to the NBA, your first time practicing guys playing and being in a, in a game. Yeah. What advice, if any, do you have for Yam, and, and, and how do you think he did before? I thought he did an unbelievable job uh, first time. You know, this is, I didn't get the opportunity or Aaron to play summer league, so this is like the first time for me too. But, uh, you know, going to NBA season, I think the biggest thing is just to, you know, try to stay level-headed. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs. There's going to be high moments and low moments. But I think the, to make it through, you just got to keep working, stay on your craft, and that's the – that's how players make it in the end of the day. And just real quick follow-up, I wanted to ask you also about Romeo. Just obviously a big shot that you threw. Speak to what that dynamic is between you and him. And just when you kind of, because you guys seem to be really kind of on the same page when, when you're out there. Definitely. I mean, Rome, Romeo's a really smart player. He uh, can do a lot of things. And, you, and I think uh, a big step for his growth this year is him developing that three-point shot and being confident. So that that's going to expand his game tremendously. So he has the ability to pass, drive. Defense, and so you know, once that three ball keeps coming like he hit at the end of the game, he's gonna be a problem. You want to talk about how he kind of spoke with you about situational basketball before the pitch ahead to Romeo? So, what, what was that conversation about, and then what did you see? I mean, he just he just told me, like, you know, last minute, end of the game, this is where the point guards made best point guards separate themselves in those moments. So, for me, you know, I played in a lot of games, late situations, so um. You know, we hit a, hit a three, and then coming down, Romeo Romeo's in the corner. He's wide open, so it's an easy kick right there. So that's, uh, that's what we game planned, and then we just finished the game out. Okay.